Khalif Browder was a man from the Bronx, New York, and was held at Rikers Island Jail without trial for allegedly stealing a backpack. He was incarcerated between 2010 and 2013 when his family was unable to make bail and was in solitary confinement for two of these three years. In this video caught by surveillance footage, Browder is seen being taken out of his cell and being walked by a prison guard. The prison guard then attacked the handcuffed man and wrestled him to the ground and pressed his head against the floor for minutes. And two years after he was released from prison, Browder committed suicide from the mental, physical, and sexual abuse he endured in prison. A mentally ill man named Boo Banger was viciously assaulted by a group of guards while in his cell. Banger was being held on minor drug charges and had been circling his cell and repeatedly hitting the door, which annoyed the deputies causing the attack. The security video which was released as a part of a lawsuit settlement shows the guards rushing and beat the 28-year-old who was on suicide watch at the time. After investigating, two of the guards were fired from the incident and Banger received $250,000 in a settlement. In this surveillance video, former cell block attendant Matthew Jaskula is shown abusing an inmate in handcuffs. The video recording shows the jail attendant first shoved the inmate named Sean Porter face first into a metal door at the city lockup. Porter then falls to the floor and hits his head and starts bleeding before Jaskula drags him into an empty cell 15 to 20 feet away. Porter was then put in a restraint chair used for non-compliant inmates where he was left for more than an hour before he received medical attention. And in May 2017, Jaskula pleaded guilty to felony charges of deprivation of rights. On November 18, 2019, deputies with the Pike County Sheriff's Department brought a man named Thomas Friend in on three misdemeanor charges. And in a video caught by surveillance footage, Deputy Jeremy Mooney was caught abusing Friend while he was restrained in a chair. The deputy is seen constantly punching the helpless bloody man, and then the man is taken outside and sprayed with mace on his already bruised face. And once the video was released, Mooney resigned from the department before he could get fired. An officer named Lester Brown was charged with felony battery and official misconduct in a December 2018 incident that left an inmate bloody. The inmate named Jose Garcia had been arrested for disorderly intoxication and resistant arrest and had been brought into the station for booking. Surveillance footage released by authorities shows that during the booking process, Brown shoved the shirtless inmate headfirst into the concrete wall as his hands were tied behind his back. And after an investigation, Brown was arrested and released shortly after, and the officer was then terminated following his release.